Hi, Blake Roney, Digital Solutions Manager at SIN 360. Today, I'm going to discuss what to do in a situation where two scan bodies are physically too close together to both be screwed at the same time, or if one scan body is blocking the view of another. In this situation, we have five implant sites, but we can only physically screw in four of the scan bodies at one time. We will begin by entering the patient's name into the software. Next, we will select the jaw, and we're gonna type the total number of implant locations into the software. Next, we will pick up the Micron Mapper, turn on the light, and scan four of the five total scan bodies. Next, we will place the camera down, remove the scan body from implant site number 10, and grab a new scan body for implant position 11. It's important to note that you can't move the scan body from implant number 10 to 11. You must grab a new scan body. We will then pick up the Micron Mapper and continue scanning. You will notice the Micron Mapper adding in that fifth implant site and the scan will complete. In the top right hand corner, you will notice that we have five implant sites in our output, even though we had only scanned four on the model at this time. Remember, there are three rules for using this function of the software. Number one, the total number of implant sites must be entered into the implant location field. Number two, a scan body cannot be moved to another location. You must grab a new scan body after removing one. The third rule for this technique is that three scan bodies must remain unchanged between the two halves of the scan. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to support at sin360.us. Thanks.